I think I'm live. Hi, Facebook. It has been a minute since I, well, actually, no, it's been like a few weeks since I've been on here. But you're going to be seeing a lot of me these next two quarters because it is, well, we're a month now into quarter three. And then before you know it, it's going to be quarter four. And then before you know it, it's going to be 2024. Can y'all really believe that it's already August of 2023? Like, we are set, we are, we are eight months into the new year. It's not even new year anymore, really, is it? Y'all, we are eight months into the year. So I have to get on here because I know I, there's a lot of entrepreneurs who follow me. There's a lot of small business owners who follow me. And it's, it's I feel that it is my responsibility to share my knowledge with you guys and get you prepared because quarter three, in my opinion, is one of the most important quarters of the year when it comes to your bookkeeping and accounting. And it can either save you a lot of money um, it can save you a lot of money. It can save you a lot of time and stress over the rest of the year. So we're going to talk about why quarter three is so important to your business. Um, we're going to talk about, uh, I believe my title is unveiling uh, the benefits of bookkeeping and accounting for quarter three. So I'm not going to waste no time. I'm just going to hop right into it because I, I know that you all are going to use this information. So number one, let's talk about accurate financial reporting so it's quarter three if you have not been doing your bookkeeping the last eight months then it's super important that you hop on that right now if you wait until november december or january your cpa or whoever is going who is doing your taxes is going to one charge you a large am amount of money to try to clean up your accounting and your bookkeeping enough for them to be able to do your taxes. So if you want to save, I'm talking thousands and thousands of dollars, even to get me to do your bookkeeping in January and you want to rush on it, I charge a rush fee. I charge a hefty amount in January because I'm the type that I've already warned you October, November, December, August, September, I've already warned you all these months how important it is to get on top of it. And I'm not here to bash anybody because sometimes I, I work with so many different business owners and I've seen so many different type of bookkeeping and accounting situations in my career so far. So it, it's some people who they start a business this year and they didn't expect for it to scale as fast or as well as it did. So you, your, your systems that you created for your business wasn't equipped to handle the exponential growth. And then there's other people who family things happen. So the accounting fell on the back end or, you know, so on and so forth. There's a lot of different reasons why your accounting or your bookkeeping may not be up to date. But with that being said, you still run the risk of, of a lot, you know, um, one, what I would suggest is doing bookkeeping cleanup. That's one thing that uh, we specialize over here at the Bougie Bookkeeper is bookkeeping cleanups. Uh, we also do QuickBooks setups. So even if you start a business this year, you weren't quite sure whether you wanted to get uh, the bookkeeping side of your business set up, but you are now making revenue. You have now registered your business. You're ready to legitimize your business. Then it is time for you to have some type of accounting software put into place so that you can be held accountable and also receive those tax reductions and maybe even tax credits when you do your taxes at the end of the year. Um, also, before I even get even deeper, if you are in the Rockford, Illinois area, because I know I have some people following me that's in the Rockford, Illinois area, I will be speaking on a panel this Saturday in Rockford at the UW Sports Factory. I don't have the address, so you have to go on my Facebook to see the address. I'll be speaking on a panel of women about legitimizing your business because we can't be out here calling ourselves a boss and we don't have a legitimate business. So if you want, and, and, and I'm not the only one on the panel, the, the panel will have a, like I believe three other amazing women who are going to help you learn how to legally legitimize your business so that you can one receive all the credentials that you need and to receive all the tax savings that you need so that is this saturday um panel is from 1 p.m to 2 30. it's sponsored by midland state bank and it's at the think big expo which i will also have a table on um, where i will have a lot of information about the services that i offer so if you're free make sure you stop by there are i believe 16 to 17 other vendors so come out and support a majority of them is african 
African-American. So come out and support black, you guys. So that's the promo for that. But getting back into it, um, quarter three is super important because to me, it's the beginning of tax planning season. It's the beginning of planning for those taxes, y'all, because... Whew, by the time November and December comes, uh, comes, that's when everybody's trying to hop in my email and in my inbox like, Malaysia, I have not done anything all year. Can you come and either fix the mistakes? Because if you do not, if you're not doing your bookkeeping reoccurringly throughout the year, those mistakes can accumulate. And if those mistakes accumulate, then we're dealing with a hot mess, and I'm going to call it what it is, a hot mess at the end of the year. For me, as a bookkeeper, it's one thing to have to fix uh, to have to go in and set somebody's bookkeeping up and just update it than it is for me to have to go and clean up messes. That takes time, um, and, and that time costs more money. So that's super important. Um, one, and also another thing I want to say, if you are a business owner and you have not been doing your bookkeeping for the entire year, then um, you're running a huge risk. Because even myself, I just sat down yesterday and I went over my own financial statements to see how much I made this year, what trends are happening within my business. I was analyzing my financial statement to see if I'm spending too much on certain engagements, am I spending too much, so on and so forth. So, getting, so if you haven't sat down and taken the time or you don't have a system in place where you can look at your money and see, okay, over the last six well we said we said we eight months into the year so over the last seven months have i been making money have i been losing money has certain areas of my business increased or has it de decreased if you haven't sat down and analyzed those things you're running a risk because we are towards the end of 2023 if you can get ahead of the game and you can see how you can either increase your revenue before the year end or work on already start working on how you can better your revenue for next year that's super important so Make sure those books are clean so that you have accurate numbers to look at. Again, we specialize in cleaning. I specialize in cleaning up books because I work with a lot of people. I'm actually working with a client right now who needed her QuickBooks all set up. Um, and looking at the numbers, I just saved her almost $5,000 in tax deductions already for um, the end of the year taxes. So that is super important, you guys. Um, what else I want to talk about? Oh, legal. Let's talk legalese. Let's talk about uh, legally why it's so important. Of course, quarterly taxes is con quarterly taxes uh, was last last month. So if you haven't got your quarterly uh, your second quarter taxes or third quarter taxes, I'm sorry, paid and prepared, then you need to get that done. Those deadlines are passed, and what you don't want to do is run into um, run into not having those quarterly taxes taken care of. So. Make sure you guys, but uh, uh, one thing that is very important is um, the IRS is making a lot of changes this year. And they're making a lot of changes when it comes to auditing businesses. So if you are a business and you've legitimized yourself with, you know, whatever state that you're in and you legitimize yourself with the government and you are not keeping up with your bookkeeping and then you sit down this tax time, you hop on TurboTax or you find you a tax repair and you're just giving them information and that information does not match what they have for your industry, you run the risk of getting audited. And one thing about being audited is you want to have the paperwork to support what you said or you run the risk of getting fined. And remind you, those fines compound every day. So if you owe $11,000, depending on what interest rate they decide to put on your fine, that's going to compound. So if you don't pay that in three to three, three or four months, you could be looking at twelve thousand, thirteen thousand dollars worth of fine. So I've seen a lot of that. So um, make sure that you're getting ahead of it, so that if your books do get audited, you are prepared and you have everything. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing about bookkeeping, hands down, is is for you to be able to make informed decisions about your business. And the second most important thing is for you to stay legally compliant. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter if you're just starting in your business or you're 10 years into your business. If you don't have your bookkeeping order, if you're not legally compliant, then you run the risk of losing your business, fines, um, running out of money, um, not knowing where to put your money, how much to spend, so on and so forth. So, like I tell people, even if you're in the position where you can't afford to take on a bookkeeper, you can't afford to take on an accountant, then you need to educate yourself. And I tell people who even work with me, I don't want to be the person who knows everything in between us. 
So even if you work with me, I'm always teaching you basic bookkeeping as I go. That way, if it doesn't work out between us, you don't go and move on to somebody else and they're just telling you a whole bunch of heebie-jeebie, some BS, and you don't even know whether that, that's accurate or not. There are celebrities, multimillionaires, multi-million dollar businesses who got plagued because they didn't understand the language of business. And the language of business is accounting. The, the, the heart of business is revenue. It's, it's making money. You're in business because you want to make money. So if you don't understand how your money is moving in and out your business, if you don't understand if you have a positive or a negative cash flow, if you don't understand these type of things, that anybody can tell you anything about your money. Now imagine you go to a bank and they're telling you, hey, um, you know you have a thousand dollars in your bank account, but they're telling you no, you only have five hundred. You're going to want to see statements. You're going to want to see proof of what happened to that five hundred dollars because in your head you had a thousand, but they're telling you have five hundred. That's why it's so important to always be able to account for your money. If you don't play about your personal money, then you cannot play about your business money either. I know for me, if I think I have a thousand dollars in my bank account, but it's only but they're telling me I got five hundred, somebody got some explaining to do. Why? Because I need to know what my money is doing. So how can you run a business and you don't have any idea what your money is doing? So the first level of that is one understanding what your money is doing. The second level of bossing up would be understanding how to use those numbers to make more money. That's when you reach another level of business is when you, one, get that accounting system in place, then two, using that accounting system to increase your cash flow or to increase your revenue. How do you do that? By one, either understanding the numbers yourself or two, finding somebody that can help you understand the numbers. So one, if you're spending too much in a certain area, then I can identify that and help you lower that cost so that the overall revenue can increase. If you are making more money on one product and not another, then we can sit down and discuss, okay, hey, you're spending all this money on having this one product, but this product is making more money. I think that you should move money around to focus on this prob this this uh this product. Now we're going to increase your revenue. So there's different levels to this. The first level is just getting the bookkeeping in order. The second level is using those numbers to make you more money. That's the second level of this. So again, the, the, the language of business is accounting and the core of business is making money. You can love what you do down to the core, but if you are struggling, if you are not making any money in your business, then you need to sit down and look at your numbers or do a business evaluation and see exactly why. That's something that I now offer my clients as well as we sit down, we evaluate your business. How much is your business really worth? Um, is it truly a profitable business? If you need to sell this business, would anybody be willing to buy it? We really sit down and I really analyze those type of things with my clientele. Um, and also a service that I'm offering is tax preparation. So we're getting you prepared for your tax person. So you can just hand your QuickBooks or you can just hand whatever system that you may be working with with them and not be charged extra if your bookkeeping isn't together. Um, let me think. Uh, because... I'm really trying to keep this at a basic level because accounting and bookkeeping go so deep into it. Um, but I just really want to keep this at a, as, and talk about why it's essential for you to have your books clean, especially in the third quarter. Hands down, the number one reason is going to be because you want to save money at the end. You want to save money and you want to save stress. If you do not have these things together, you're going to run the risk in a few months of being stressed. And I'm going to get on each and every week until the end of the year and preach the same message. Get your bookkeeping in order. Get your accounting in order. If you have not started that, it's time for you to start. It's time for you to start right now. It's time for you to contact the bougie bookkeeper, contact your CPA, contact some type of company, and time to get that together now. Because if you have to pay for 12 months of bookkeeping cleanup, it's going to cost you more more than having to pay for eight months worth of cleanup. If you're somebody who needs your numbers, like a construction company or a product-based business or a service, but you're somebody who needs your numbers, then that's a whole different conversation. But the first thing that I am preaching and I will be preaching for the rest of this year is if you have not started your bookkeeping, get it started now. Spend an hour a week, spend two hours a week, spend a day working on it month by month, week by week, whatever you have to do, do 10 transactions a day. But it is so important if you want to save money to do it now. And then at the end of the year, when I tell y'all I'm going to make, I'm, the amount of taxes that I'm going to save this year is crazy. I did not play with my clients and I did not play with myself when it came to recording my tax deductions. When it's time to file taxes, I know 
it's going to be crazy for me because one, I do know, of course, the biggest tax deductions and how to do different things. But for the people who I work with, they're going to save so much money because we have been tracking it consistently. There will be no guessing because sometimes when you don't know your bookkeeping, you don't know the right numbers and you're sitting down with your taxi pair or your CPA and you're just shooting out numbers, you can sometimes be overestimating, which can cost you money. Or you can run the danger of underestimating how much you really spent for a tax deductible expense. And if you underestimate that, then you run the risk of losing out on money, losing out on getting that money back or losing out or bringing down that tax obligation. So be very careful with that, especially guesstimating those numbers. So that's why AI AI is out here. That's why QuickBooks works. That's why NetSuite, um, things other, um, Zero Books, all those different ones are great ones to use for small to medium sized business. Now, if you're a bigger business, then I would suggest NetSuite, but QuickBooks is an amazing program for small to medium sized businesses. It is the one that I use with my small to medium sized clients. Um. I'm trying to think what else, y'all. I'm trying to think about what else. Honestly, I think those are really all that I want to hit on is you can either pay for 12 months worth of cleanups or you can get it done right now and pay for eight months to get those eight months cleaned up. If not, then you're going to run the risk of one, legal complications. If you have not paid your quarterly taxes, payroll taxes, income taxes at all this year, you know that you are required, then I, I advise you to hop on that IRS website, see what your obligation is, and get that paid before the end of the year because they are not playing any games. If you have a QuickBooks, but you, and this is another thing, um, because I just got hired on for this. If you're somebody who cannot afford to have a bookkeeper every month, then look about, look to hire, I do quarterly book cleanups where I stop in and I look at my client stuff every three months. So that they're not a company that can take me on full time, but I do come in every three months and make sure that if they're work, have somebody working in the position of doing the QuickBooks or them themselves are doing the QuickBooks, I come in and I make sure that it's accurate every single quarter. So that's always an option. I'm willing to work with you no matter where you may be and what you may do. If I can't, if I can't necessarily work with you, then I will suggest somebody, or I can recommend um, one of my trainings that I have on my on my website where I go in depth of how to do basic bookkeeping yourself. Because I I believe looking at my my um my trends and my uh, analytics, I think it was like 65% of you guys are entrepreneurs who just started. So you're like a year to three years into your business. So um, a lot of you guys are just kind of getting these things together and a lot of you are, may not still be in a position to take on a bookkeeper. But it's super important that you still handle these things by yourself or you can end up in a very bad position as a business owner. Because it's always in March and April that I hear the horror stories of one um, I, I waited to the last minute to do it. I need to file an extension. Can you please help us? Um, two, oh, well, I heard about e ERC or I heard about this tax credit that does not apply to me and my CPA told me to do it and now I owe all this money. Or three, you know, or I should have listened to you when you said to get it done now because it's that my CPA is trying to charge me three, four thousand dollars to get the year cleaned up for, for them to be able to do my uh, taxes. So, Y'all, it is that time. So if you know anybody, if you are a small business owner or you know a small business that has not got their bookkeeping done, may need somebody to review it, may just need help with getting everything set up the correct way, please send them my way. Um, because I am very skilled at what I do. I have some very, very, very exciting things coming up for me soon so um soon pretty soon with, over with oh, within the, like the next i won't even i won't even reveal that let me not even reveal that yet i'm gonna let that play out on its own so y'all can see but just know that i have some really really exciting things happening in my business and it expanding um and i just can't wait to when the time is right to tell you guys about that um, but yeah, so like I said, make also I do want to invite any entrepreneur that's in the Rockford area. If you're looking to network with any businesses, I am a treasure for a networking group called AM Spirit. Uh, Rockford Premier Networkers. Networkers. We meet every Thursday at Mary's Market on East State Street in the Catering Building from 9:30 a.m. to 11 a.m. So we will be meeting tomorrow. It's an amazing group of individuals. We refer each other business all the time. I've gotten a lot of referrals from this uh, organization as well. Again, 
This is every Thursday from 9.30 a.m. to 11 uh, a.m. It's at Rockford. I mean, it's at um, Mary's Market on East State Street in Rockford. So be my guest. Let them know that I sent you if I'm not there, or but I will be there, um, and you're more than welcome to come. Um, I will be at the Think Big Expo this Saturday at the UW uh, Sports Factory. I'll be both on a panel, and I will have a table. So if you have a bookkeeping crisis, or you just want to talk to somebody maybe about what your CPA should be doing or what your CPA isn't doing, or whatever it may be, feel free um, to contact me. And if you know anybody who is struggling, again, with um, their bookkeeping, trying to find a trustworthy, reliable bookkeeper, then I am your gal. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next live next week on Wednesday. If you have anything that you want to know, please inbox me so that maybe I can do a Q&A or something like that. Just let me know, though. But everybody have a blessed night. Get your bookkeeping in order. It's quarter three. There is no more. There is no more. I'll do it next month. I'll do it next quarter. I'll do it later. There's no more time for that. Save yourself the money and the stress and get it done within the next two months. Because once those holidays start, we all know how crazy that can be, especially if you have a family and you're trying to run a business. It can be crazy. So get that stuff in order and get that stuff done.